Hey everyone, a uh, completely different video this week. One of the groups that I go on on Facebook, uh, Steve Hot Aquatics, he's got a YouTube channel as well, I'll put a link in the description, check that out. Um, it's one of the friendlier groups, or the more useful and least drama groups out there. The guy that runs it, Bob Steenfot, he put out uh, a call to other fishy YouTubers to do a bit of a, a one tank showcase, so I think he put some rules where do a video one to three minutes long um, talking about your favourite tank, going through whether it's the stock, the plants, the setup, the equipment, that kind of thing. So I made a little video, sent it off to him, no idea if it's going to be used or not. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, the, the biggest challenge was keeping it under three minutes, to be honest, so I might have to try and remember that when I'm making my own videos in future. But anyway, the longer version is here. So I've no idea if Bob's going to use my video in his, but by all means go and check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description, um, but thought I'd let you have a look at it as well. A slightly longer cut version of it, uh, slightly different. And you can compare the two if he does put my video in his. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, click that subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time. Hey everybody, this is Graham from the Aquarium Adventures channel. This is my submission for the Steam Fox Showcase. We've been asked to show off one of our favourite tanks. And well, this is mine. Come and have a look. This is my tank that I've chosen. It's my display tank, which is in my living room. It's my discus tank. It's a custom aquarium. It was built for me by a company called Fit Filtration in here in Sheffield in the UK. And it's six by two by two, and it's got a four foot sump underneath, which handles the filtration. Uh, the filtration's mainly uh, sponges and filter floss and things like that to get the particles out as well as some biohome media as well as things like um, alpha grog and whatever else I have lying around just filling up the sump to make the best use of it. I've had this running for almost a year now. It was actually my 40th birthday present from my family. Now let's have a closer look. So well, let's start from the top down. On top it's got a canopy here but it's not a full lid. So I run two of these LED lights. These are actually Aquarian Eco. Um, they're good enough. I've just actually started having some problems with them. Uh, where, as you can see, only one of them is working at the moment. Both power supplies packed in within about a week of each other, so I've only got one running on this. But when they are running, they're really low power, they're really good light, and I'm getting pretty good growth on all the plants that are in here. Now, the plants you'll see fairly sparsely planted, well, it's very heavily planted actually, but it's, in terms of species in here, it's fairly sparsely planted. This all started off from one single plant, about yay big, and has spread over the entire tank pretty much. Um, got some Anubius in the corner and a big uh, Amazon sword. And like I say, it's a discus tank. It's stocked with discus. I think I've got about 12, maybe 13 in there at the moment. Cardinal tetras. There's also some Sterby Corridoras and there is a couple of juvenile bristle nose placos but they tend to live in the crevices in these rocks so we don't tend to see them very often if we open these up these are on quick release hinges so you just literally just pop these two hinges and the entire door comes off and the same for this door and the other door the water comes in through there 
goes through a bunch of sponges and filter floss through a few bags of alpha grog and things like that that I just keep in there so as I've always got pre-cycled filter media then goes into another section here with biohome another section of biohome again I've just got some more uh, metallomat and filter floss in there to do a bit of water polishing and then back to the return nothing much more I can say about it but this is my favorite tank where I sit and it competes with the, the television in the living room as to what I'm going to actually watch this usually wins so that was my tank I hope you liked it uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other tanks that people choose to show us videos of I'll catch you next time bye bye